working on the sliding library ladder. To create the bench seat under the window, we started off with two by sixes as a base and then added two upper cabinets. Then we cut a plywood to size and added two by fours to the wall for extra support. I couldn't find a cushion that was the right size or color, so I decided to make my own. I bought three inch foam that I'm just cutting to the same size as the plywood. Then I'm adding batting to the top of the foam. And to do this, I'm just attaching everything to the piece of plywood with my arrow staple gun. And for this, I'm just using their quarter inch staples. I cut the batting to size and then just kind of wrapped it like a present, adding staples every three to four inches. I made sure the batting was nice and snug and then it was time to prepare the fabric. And I bought this light green fabric to match Victoria's comforter. I pretty much just repeated the same process, just wrapping it like a present and using my arrow staple gun every three to four inches to make sure that it was nice and tight. And some of you guys might have seen me do this during my live today, but if you missed it, make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next one. Once all of the fabric was in place, it was time for the moment of truth, and I absolutely love how it turned out. I used my mini vacuum to clean off the top of those cabinets, and then I just placed that plywood right on top. It was so comfortable, and I love the way that it turned out. It fits the space perfectly, and it was actually really easy to do. I had to make a few adjustments to the cabinets below, and these are just two 30-inch bridge cabinets that are 15 inches tall. I still need to finish painting this area and then also adding a few trim pieces, but I went ahead and added the shelves to the Billy bookcases. Tomorrow, I'll be able to add those extra little finishes and touches to this area, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when she starts organizing all of her books.